Christ wasn't a soft spoken man. But guess what? Who is today? The so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's right. Why is that? Because of hundreds of years of slavery of another man butt breaking you, now you become soft spoken. And the only time you got some energy, some rah rah in you, is when it comes to your brothers. That's right. That's the only time that we feel like we men is if we kill each other, if we ride on each other, but not if we don't fight against the enemy. At one point in time, we had great men to stand for our people. And if you look at these modern day times, guess what? Who's standing up for us now? We are the Israelites. Purple rain. That's who's standing up for the people in today's society. That's who standing in the gap for their people in today's society. That's right. You have Malcolm X. You have Martin Luther King, you have Marcus Garvey. Then before them, you had these men right here. Give me Ciroc 44 and 1. Yes, sir. See, see what that brother talking about. Yes, sir. And hey, my brother, my brother in the green hat. I made you What's your name? A king. A king? A king. Nice to meet you, a king. You got any questions? No, no. Okay. Yeah, come on. I got some uh, some pictures I want to show you. We're talking about our history. What did he say he was uh, Muslim? Muslim? That's not the way, my brother. I know that's considered the black man's religion, but that's only considered that because before the transatlantic slavery, there was what? The sub-Saharan slavery. The so-called Arabians, also known as the Ishmaelites, they are a dark-skinned people. But guess what? When you read the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, the first man was a a uh, dark skinned man. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. So his descendants were dark skinned. Yeah, the only time a people came out that was not dark skinned like me and you yeah. is the so called white man. Oh, no, and no, you no. read that in the book of Genesis yeah, 25 yeah. and 25. Yeah, but everybody on this earth had dark skin once upon a time yeah. before them. So the so called Arabians known as Ishmael, yeah, they got dark skin. Yeah, yeah they got dark hair. But they're not us, though. There's a difference. Go so give me uh, Jeremiah 3 and 2. I'm going to show you, my brother, where we learned. Islam at where we learn how to be Muslims at right I'm gonna show you you got what I want I got it because I asked you a question I said what slave trade was before the subs uh excuse me the transatlantic slave trade my brother King what slave trade yeah come a little close for me what slave trade was before the transatlantic slave trade yes sir if you uh take a look at the sound come around here for me so if you look at this sign right here, you'll see mainly the sub-Saharan slave trade, right? When it took us from the west coast of Africa. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. All praise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so let's build. So before that, yeah, was, that can wait a little bit. Before that was the sub-Saharan slave trade. Yeah. You want to know who had us in slavery then? The so-called Ishmaelites or oh, the yeah. Arabians. Uh, yeah, I, I know that. Right? Yeah. So that's where we learn Islam. Let's see if the Bible read that book. Yes, sir. Verse so, okay, yeah. listen to this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 26 to 27. No, sir. Verse 27? Well, that'll say it too. That'll say it too. Give me that and then jump over to Jeremiah 3 and 2. Yes, sir. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 27. Saying to a stop, thou art my father. So right now we say to a stop. This time about the Israelites. We saying, thou art my father. Read. And to a stone. To a what? To a stone. What is that pilgrimage that? so-called uh that muslims gotta make every year or people that believe in the islamic faith gotta make every year but at least once in their lifetime the what yes sir the hajj they gotta make the hajj over there in mecca so they can be what walk around then bow down and kiss that stone that's right that's what they gotta do at least once in your lifetime or you're not considered a true muslim yeah, come on up my brother read that again right. for him yes sir israelite Israelites, oh, word, word, word. Check yes, it sir. out. The original um, Jews. Yes, yeah. that's who yeah. we are. Oh, I already know that. I don't want to tell. I don't want to tell you got that over there in uh, Magadha Mall. Hey, come build with us. All right. Oh, so right now we're talking about I know everything. how did we? All right, if you know everything, then you can't be taught, my brother. But no, what no, we no, came I to do? I still need 180 more degrees of knowledge. I'm 180 degrees of knowledge. Hey, okay. so we out here to teach. I know, yes. but you, you know, know that. Bible, you know that Bible. You Hold on, my brother. Hold on, one second. You gotta that? listen too. You can't yeah, always yeah. talk. I know, but you can't come up to a platform where you've seen us talking you and then stop talking. No, I was just throwing knowledge yeah. out there. I, right. A knowledge, and that was in the midst of me knowledge, speaking. Jesus, so we gotta have respect. When Jesus spoke knowledge, he spoke knowledge while everybody was still talking, sitting down. No, sir. Pieces. When he when he spoke, they listened because they had respect for one another. No, right, so when Christ everybody, spoke, everybody he didn't talk. listen to Jesus. Everybody didn't listen, but guess what? The people that had, you're talking about, he they, had, hold on. He had the people that you're talking that about, they listen very closely to try to trip them up in their speech. 
So my brother, they did listen. Even Christ's enemies listened because they tried to catch him in his speech. So his enemies listened very closely to what he had to say. Now read that. Exactly. And that'd be the devil that comes to take the word away. But we're going to still build. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 27. Saying to a stop, thou art my father. Uh -huh. And to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. So now you're telling a stone, you have created me. You made me who I am. That's what the Islamic plate believes in. They worship a rock, a stone. Read. For they have turned their back unto me. They turn their what? Back unto me. We turn our backs from God, from this Bible, to worship a rock. Hell, if you look around, you can find a rock anywhere, right? But tell me where you can find the true living God. Read. And not their face, but in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. They say, God, help me. Right. Boy, they don't say that to a rock. That's right. They're not saying that to a rock to come help them. They're not going to look around for the nearest rock. Oh, help me. Help me. I'm, I'm talking to you right now. Help me. Can you hear me? They're not saying it. They're not doing it. They're going to call on God. The one true living God. That's right. Now give me that Jeremiah 3 and 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Uh-huh. Lift up thy eyes unto the high places. So lift up your eyes, Israel, unto the high places. What's happening in these places? Read. And see what thou hast not been lighted with sin. It said what thou hast not been lined with what? With. Right. That's, I'm going to break it down. So reread it again. Yes, sir. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places uh -huh. and see where thou hast not been lying no, with. No, lying with. Lying with. So it said where you have not been lying with. So if you look up the word lying with or lean with, in today's society, they changed the definition to deal with property, right? To real estate. But the biblical definition of being lying with, if you look it up, is to constrict or to hold, or to bound you. Guess what binds you? The laws of God. Because you may say, I want to commit adultery. Like I was talking to Blue earlier. Guess what? The Bible says thou shalt not commit adultery. So even though you want to, you're going to say, ah, I can't do it. You may want to look at that fat ass, nah, I can't do it. You may want to work and make extra money on something, nah, I can't do it. You have been lined with, you have been constricted, you have been held with, what? The laws of God. So it said, look to see where you have not kept the laws of God. And where do we not keep the laws of God? In the sub-Saharan slave trade. Read. And the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian? It said in the ways, in the ways, in the customs, in the living to. In those ways, we did not keep the laws of God. We lived according to them. We lived according to their customs. That's in the ways that we did what? Thou set for them as the Arabian? In the wilderness to set for them means to be have bound you have entered slavery you have been conquered you have made to kneel to bow to serve that's what it means to have set with them in those ways in that sitting you learn Islam you learn how to be a, a Muslim because it's saying the ways of who read the Arabian the in who? the wilderness the who the Arabian in the wilderness the Arabians is who the Ishmaelites. Thus saith the Lord. The Arabians are the Ishmaelites. So guess what? When a brother say, oh man, yeah, no, I believe in, I'm a Muslim, I believe in Islam. That's the black man's doctrine. That's the black man's religion. No, my brother. I know we knew that when we came over here in the Americas. I know that. But why did we know the so-called, give me Joel 3 and 3. Why did we know Muslims? Why did we know Islam? Why did we know that faith? Because it said we set for them. We were slaves to them in the wilderness because that's when we did not know God. We was not lying with the commandments of God. Now go ahead, give me Joel 3 and 3. Yes, I'm going to show you where the Arabians, yeah, yes sir, where the Arabians, along with the Africans, sold us to the so-called white man. And that's the transatlantic slave trade that you read about. So that's how we knew Islam before we knew Christianity today. That's how we came to America's knowing Islam. Read that. The book of Joel. Chapter 3 and verse 3. Uh huh. And they have cast lots for my people. To cast lots for your people means doing bids. They sold 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 35, 35, 35, 40, 40. Do I got a 50? Do I got a 50? They have cast lots for our people. Read. And have given a boy for an harlot. They have 
made breeders out of us. That's the reason why you can't control yourself now. Like, damn, why I gotta keep messing with these hoes? Bro, you know the whole team didn't hit her, and you still gonna hit. You don't know what she has, but you can't control yourself. Why? Because they made you a harlot in slavery. That's right. Read. And so, a girl for what? Then they used our daughters to have parties with, to have fun with. That's what happened. You go to a party, you sip some yeah, wine. What's you, gonna bro. transpire? Sex. So now they're using our daughters for sex. Read. That they may drink. Yay! And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree? O Africans, read. And Zion. Some more Africans, read. And all the coast of Palestine. And all the coast of Palestine. Who's that? That's the Arabians we read about in Jeremiah 3 and 2. Known as the Ishmaelites in the Bible. That's right. They are descendants of Ishmael. Right. That's where we get the so-called Muslims from. And who did they sell us to? Who did the Africans and the Arabians sell us to? Read. Will ye render me a recompense? Uh-huh. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I render your recompense Read that last part again. Read that last part again. Yes, sir. And if ye recompense me. If you recompense, you try to get back at God. Now you may say, why would somebody get back at God for it? Why? Because he did not choose them. He chose you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. So now the other nations are angry. Now they're trying to get back by touching who? God's people. Read. Swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. And that's the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It's coming real soon. God gonna pay these nations back for having us in slavery. Read. Because. Because they did what? Read. Ye have taken my silver and my gold. Uh-huh. And have carried into your temples. My godly pleasant things, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. Was taken, we are the children of Jerusalem, of Judah. We are God's Jews, right? They took us along with our, our wealth. They took us and did what? Read. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. Uh huh. Have ye sold unto the Grecians? Unto the Grecians, hey, my brother. Who, knows, who is known as the Greeks today? Who's known as the Greeks? Are men you known as Greeks? Who's known as the Greeks today? When you think of a Greek, who do you think of? What people? Greek people on that side. Right, what they look like. Man. They don't like me and you? I, I ain't never seen a Greek person before. The so-called white man. That's right. Right? That's right. The reason why you have to say tan is because they was pale. And then they stand in the sun to try to get a little bit of color. Only one nation right. people get a tan. Only one nation people get a tan. Right? <laughs> That's why they're trying to get a tan, because they pale already. They blood show up for them. So they now they need some color. They need some protection. So who did the Africans and Arabians sell us to? Read that again. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Christians that ye might remove them far from their border. So they sold us after they had us in slavery. Like Jeremiah said, they sold us off to the so-called white man, right? Known as Esau, or as the Bible say, the Grecians. Nation is men leading by example.